My name's Alicia Funk, and my family is on a journey to live as sustainably and healthy as possible. We grow a garden and live off the grid, but really wanted to challenge ourselves to go to the next level. We've been working to gather, grow, and eat daily the wild plants that are native to the place we live. We don't have to go to the rainforest to find an abundance of food and medicine or an exotic healthy food. It's right here under our feet and above our heads. In the last century, We've switched from eating an abundance of local plant varieties to only consuming a narrow range of high yield species. Many of these foods lack the taste and nutritional content of what we enjoyed 100 years ago, and they require significant water, fertilizers, and processing. Food localization means cultivating a sense of place, a deep awareness of the land we call home. It's a process that depends upon the continuing exchange of new ideas between local communities of farmers, scientists, indigenous knowledge keepers, schools, foodies, chefs, and environmentalists. So there's a lot of plants growing here that have just incredible uses. Um, when we talk about eating local, we forget that um, you know, there are foods that have been growing here long before anybody had a garden. The first step towards food localization is simply being willing to take a few minutes away from an electronic screen and wander outside. I focus on getting to know one or two new plants each season and trying as many different ways as possible to use them in our daily diet. Does anyone know what this plant is? Mm. What? Yes, you're right, these are fur tips. So we gathered them in the spring, and so that makes them bright green on the ends. You notice the bright, the ends are bright green? So, okay, who's ready? You're ready? Okay, you are brave. You are the first one. Okay, your little sip. And this one should taste like lemonade. Does that one taste lemonade? What do you think it tastes like? Is it sweet or sour or sweet? I do. Yeah. <laughs> I've been switching out the landscaping around our home to beautiful native plants that help the habitat while providing our family with easy to gather, healthy food and medicine. Many of these plants were cultivated by Indian tribes and some of them have medicinal properties, some of them have edible properties like the elderberry and some of the plants you see here. Because of that ability to use our heritage, when we bring it forward into urban gardening, we connect ourselves to the whole history of California, to our natural resources, to the beauty of our state, and to our ability to help make the planet a better place in the future. You know, we talk about a lot of this stuff, you know, point out, oh, we get to use that plant and make this out of it, or, you know, you can take this and do this, but knowing or seeing the final product of, of all the gathering and work, uh, you know, seeing what, what the reward can be and how tasty it is. What I call living wild means remembering how to truly live sustainably within the landscape we inhabit. <laughs>